two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah. So anyway, let's see if they come. I'm sure she will. You want us to stay in the guy? Obviously. Give me this. Yeah, sure. Maggie! Can you lift? Maggie! Yeah, she comes. How you want to be Slowly, slowly, slowly! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Where have you been? Where have you been? <laughs> Let's just go back a bit. I lie down there next to them and I just think, oh, you're just so beautiful. What would I do to make you better? I can't. As a kid, I could really only remember lions in, in storybooks. I would always imagine, you know, lions to be wandering the plains of Africa and, you know, exactly where, <laughs> what you doing? Exactly where they should be. Give them a good chin scratch. They're very happy, content cats. If we googled your name right now, what would come up? The lion whisperer would would come up, and there'd be more than likely several pictures of me doing pretty much. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there'd be several pictures of me pretty much doing what I'm doing now. Do you, do, you, uh, do you see yourself as a lion whisperer? There's a you know, phrase that people coin because of the relationships that I have. The ability to you know, interact with these animals without having to make them submit through fear. Then yes. He's a my big boy. He's a my big boy. Hello, he's a my big boy. Hello, my big boy. Oh, that's a nice. Hey. What have you guys been doing? <laughs> How are you going? You must be nice. To pinpoint what I specifically like about a lion is extremely difficult. There's something about the, the, the black on the back of the ears. It's very soft fur, completely different to the rest of the body. Oh la la ma. Oh, they're so nice. Me, where I fit in in the pride, I'm just a, another member of this group. Lions don't really have a strict hierarchy like uh, most would imagine. Whether it's a, a male or a female, I don't know how they see me, but I definitely fit in as a, as a lion. <laughs> I know each individual quite intensively. That's my job, uh, to get to know each character and to get to bond and relate to, to certain characters. Obviously, like people, uh, you're going to relate to certain individuals better than others. Hey, that one's got the camera. Well, hyenas are really interesting animals because Unlike lions, they do have a strict hierarchy. Completely misunderstood, where everyone thinks that they are just smelly, rotten scoundrels and scavengers. They do not smell, 
they're not rotten. And the interesting thing really is that the lowest ranking female ranks higher than the highest ranking male, if that makes sense. <laughs> They've never bitten. People go, well, how do you know that one day is one day, you know? I've seen people with incredible relationships and it ends in tears. Because I know them, I don't react. So I've almost learned to detune my reaction. Slowly. But you tell somebody, don't react. And then I and then the thing goes like wow! Megan Amy, since the day, you know, literally they opened their eyes, they were jumping on me. People said when they get to a certain age, it's, you're going to have to stop that. You know, they just got bigger and bigger and bigger. The most incredible thing about them is how we met. I know their mother intimately and she didn't want to look after them. Picks them up by the scruffs of their necks and dumps them in the water bin. I grab them out the water and hand raise them. No two lines are the same. To me it's like looking at two different human beings. Meg is more outgoing. And Amy is a little bit more dependent on Meg. They are a fantastic duo. And yeah, they've lived a really incredible life. Um, they've seen m more places than most wild lions would ever dream about seeing. You have one son, right? I do. Uh, and you're expecting another child? I am. Son or daughter? A daughter. For my kids, what I really hope the legacy will be is that they have something to go into pertaining to the wild. The whole lions are not doing well. They've, they've decreased, declined down to miserable numbers. I'm trying my damnedest to create awareness. People see me interacting with the lions and I think they start to think, well, gee, imagine Africa without lion. If we carry on along the same path, we will not see lions in 20 years. When my last lion dies, yeah, we'll probably be talking about the last lions been seen in the wild. We don't need clever humans coming in and telling the animals how to do what they know how to do naturally. Giving back habitat and restoring habitat. That would be utopia. We want to set a precedence to tell the world that we love our iconic species being the lion and we're here to protect it.